Hey Mr. Blitzo, this is Jacob doing video assignment 2A. So to start off, we're doing the greatest common factor one. What you would do is practically see what divides into both of these evenly without being able to divide them again. So for example, 7 can divide into both of these and it would make 21, 3 and 35, 5. And you can't divide those anymore, so your answer would be 3 and 5. For the one difference between two perfect squares, I thought that might be a square plus b square. So what you would do for this would be a plus b and a minus b. And then you would multiply a times a, which equals a squared a times b which equals negative a b since it's minus b times a so positive a b and b times b which equals b square and then you would sorry a square minus b square that's a mistake I made a square minus b square and then you get negative b square the a negative a b and the positive a b cancel each other out, so it would come out to a square minus b square. Then for the factoring a trinomial, make the diamond method. Put negative eighteen on top, seven in the bottom, and you'd find something that multiplies to negative eighteen, and when you add those two numbers up, it gets seven. So I would do negative two and nine is negative two times nine equals eighteen and negative two plus nine equals seven. So your answer would be x x plus nine and x minus two. And that would be your answer.